And today, for the first time since the COVID pandemic, we got to see where COVID patients were treated at Sacred Heart in Spokane. Program 2's Nathan Hyun got that inside look and spoke with program managers about what the pandemic taught them. For the first time in three years, our team was very instrumental in the COVID response. Sacred Heart Hospital opened up their special pathogens unit. Program manager Krista Arganchona says a state-of-the-art isolation unit helped save lives. Having those experts in our hospital uh, to be able to prepare everybody else in the hospital and in other hospitals throughout our region is really essential. The treatment center is used for patients that have highly infectious diseases who need high level of care. When the COVID pandemic began, COVID patients were brought into the center. I think the isolation from away the, from the rest of the hospital is so beneficial. We can focus and we can keep the pathogens in a very secured location. Brooke Henriksen says even when they don't have patients, they train in the patient care rooms every three months. Doctors learn how to take care of patients and eliminate waste while keeping themselves safe. All of the things that we do in the special pathogens unit are very methodical and we want our caregivers to slow down and they practice that so that they are keeping each other safe. The special pathogens unit has 12 ICU level care rooms, a biosafety lab, and a sani pack which helps incinerate bio waste. The sani pack is the only bio waste incinerator in the region. We are able to serve our community as well as our four state region to care for a patient that could have a high consequence pathogen and put them in our specialized isolation unit and provide them that care. Argan Chona says they learned so much from the work they did during the pandemic. She hopes there isn't another pandemic anytime soon, but they're prepared. We all hope that that day isn't coming soon, but we never know what could, you know, appear on our doorsteps and having that uh, state of readiness is important for our community. The unit currently has no patients. The treatment center is available for patient overflow if hospital capacity becomes an issue. In Spokane, Nathan Hahn, Krem 2 News.